Hi guys, and today I'm here with another video of the Lost Media Podcast. This is episode 26. You might have been waiting for it for a long time. I know. We're going to cover movies, as in miscellaneous movies, not just animated movies. First up is Godzilla, the high-quality release. Godzilla, also known as Cozilla for its director, Luigi Cozzi, is a 1997 colorized version of Gojira, only available for home ownership through TV recordings and bootleg DVDs. No known versions include the ending, although it's available on YouTube, and the full version is available online, but it's very low quality. It's rumored that a high quality print surfaced in recent years, but it was never released. And the movie never had a proper home media release. An old introduction used on TV shows some very high quality footage where the colors are actually quite distinct. But sadly, most versions of the movie available are faded and poorly aged. So, I'm afraid the high quality version is no longer available. Next up is Heathcliff Bad Kitty, a cancelled CGI animated film based on the comic book character Heathcliff, also known as That Cat Who Looks Like Garfield. It was not released, and it was meant to be released in the holiday season of 2011 to reinvigorate interest in Heathcliff. It was cancelled for unknown reasons. A screen cap from the trailer is available, and it was meant to be made by Waterman Entertainment and Magic Lantern Studios and distributed by 41 Entertainment. They were chosen because of their impeccably awesome track record of Stuart Little in live action, Alvin and the Chipmunks, one of my favorite movies, and Casper the Friendly Ghost from 1995. The film and its following spin-offs were meant to bring back interest in Heathcliff. In March of 2010, a trailer was released, and little's known about the plot, though based on the footage that's been released, the film's story might have revolved around Heathcliff trying to return three annoying kittens to their parents. The trailer is still available on YouTube, and Animation Warehouse made a video on the cancelled movie. So go check them out in case you want to know. Alright. Next up is Fan Four Stick, the Josh Trank cut. Fan Four Stick is a 2015 movie based on the Fantastic Four, but it was met with harsh reception. It has a 27 out of 10 on Metascore and a 9% on Rotten Tomatoes. Director Josh Trank openly stated his dissatisfaction with the movie, announcing how his cut was rejected by the studios in favor of a dumbed-down version. It's been confirmed in some ways by several deleted scenes in the trailers, and it's unknown if they'll even be released. Next up are some deleted scenes from the movie The Land Before Time. From the creators of An American Tale, this movie was originally supposed to be 79 minutes, but was cut to be 69 minutes due to the removal of scenes that were deemed frightening or difficult for children to understand. 19 scenes were cut before the movie's release, and namely scenes in which potentially overwhelming images include the fight with Sharp Tooth. These were shown in the trailer, but they were not in the movie. There were two main cuts. When the movie was first screened, it was not yet scored, since there are a number of scenes that don't fit anymore. Other scenes were removed after it was scored which is why there are portions in this score that end abruptly or are missing, similar to several scenes from the Disney movie The Black Cauldron. There are many, 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 many edits. There's reproductions and reconstructions of the scene. The trailer is available online, but the scenes are still lost to this day. And this is why Lost Media Wiki was created. Next up are two Betty Boop cartoons. One of them has been restored without audio, and another is completely lost. There are two missing shorts in the famous Betty Boop series. One was called Honest Love and True, which was released in 1938. 
and it placed Betty in the role of a worker at a Klondike saloon. It was rumored to be included in a film rental catalog for Films Incorporated, but this has not been confirmed. The second one is Buzzy Boo by the Concert, also from 1938. It was less likely about Betty's cousin Buzzy wreaking havoc at a concert. The character also appeared in the short of the same name, Buzzy Boop. Animation historian Jerry Beck regarded both of these shorts as lost, but in 2017 he revealed UCLA found a print of Honest Love and True with no audio. It was restored and screened at the Festival of Preservation that year. There are Wikipedia pages for the shorts and some other websites. Next up, Back to the Future, Eric Stoltz as Marty McFly. In preparation for filming Back to the Future, the director Robert Zemeckis, who later directed Who Framed Roger Rabbit, and producer Bob Gale wished to cast Michael J. Fox in the lead role of Marty McFly, but he was committed to family ties, so they had to hire Eric Stoltz instead. But after filming five weeks, Zemeckis felt that Stoltz wasn't playing the type of comedy he wanted and fired him. By that time, Fox became available again, and Michael J. Fox was recast it. The footage of Stoltz's performance as a whole has not been released, though there are many photographs and even a compilation on the 25th anniversary home media release Blu-ray of Back to the Future. So fans, you got it. Next up is Janet Waldo as Judy Jetson in Jetson's The Movie. In 1988, Hanna-Barbera star production on Jetson's The Movie, the original cast has been hired to reprise their roles, except for Dodds Butler, who voiced Elroy. However, at later point during production, Universal wanted to hire Tiffany, who contributed three songs to the soundtrack, who played the role of Judy Jetson in the movie, Janet Waldo was unceremoniously let go from the movie, and all the lines she recorded as Judy were then re-recorded by the singer Tiffany Darwish. Janet Waldo was upset by the turn of events, as was the casting director Andrea Romano. The latter of the two had even asked to be left uncredited for the film due to worry of receiving blame for the decision. It was meant to be released in 1989, but was delayed in 1990. It became a box office flop, and Tiffany's role as Judy was widely criticized. It's unknown if Janet Waldo's audio track is released. And due to the fact that she's deceased, I don't think she can even comment. Rest in peace. Next up is... <sighs> the Big Boss deleted scenes from the Mandarin Cut. The Big Boss is a 1971 martial arts movie starring Bruce Lee, the martial artist. It's credited as Lee's breakout movie, and it's been released as Fist of Fury in North America, though it was supposed to be released as The Chinese Connection. It included many scenes that were removed during the 1972 Hong Kong censorship crackdown. The removed scenes were noteworthy for being violent, and are included in full detail on his Wikipedia article. Some of these clips were recovered from trailers, while others believe the Mandarin Cut is in possession of collectors, though this is unconfirmed. In 2004, a low-budget TV DVD company called Video Asia announced The Big Boss, the version you've never seen. It was widely speculated to be the Mandarin Cut. However, the DVD release was ultimately cancelled due to copyright issues. And that is the video. Goodbye!